Hello everyone, welcome to today's training. I'll be teaching you how to make this that light fascinator. This particular picture you're looking at is not my work. This one is my work. I'm the one putting on this fascinator. So you learn this design. To make your satellite fascinator to be this big, um, the millinery wire to be used here will be measured 61 inches length. 61 inches length. And for this yellow satellite fascinator you are seeing here, it's not as big as that white one I just showed you. The millinery wire used here is measured 56 inches length. 56 inches length. So these are the materials that will be used for this training. Um, you can use a flexible wire in place of this millinery wire. That that gold one. You can use it in place of this. So remember, I told you that, that the millinery wire that will be used there is 56 inches length. This is how you measure a millinery wire. So after cutting out your millinery wire, you use thread to hold that part where you cut out. Also use your masking tape or cello tape, any part, any one. Use it to wrap it round. This helps to hold that thread down. You hold it round and press down the way you want it. So that's it for our wire. So the next thing to be done is to use bias to cover up the wire. Bias are used by tailors. So... Once you get your bias, ensure you use a matching colored bias to cover up your wire. To wrap it up, you use that, either use USU gum or you use um, this B6000. But here I'll be using B6000. The reason is because bias is tiny, it's not bold. And if I use USU gum, it will dirty my work. So that's why I'm using B6000 here. So I'll rub it on the bias. After rubbing on the bias, I will then wrap it up. There is two ways of wrapping up this bias around the millinery wire. I will show you the first method. So what we just do is take it up this way and wrap it all around. That's what I'm doing. You fold it in, yeah. Fold it in. You wrap it all around. You just want to hide the millinery wire. I don't want it to be seen. That's what I'm doing. Then once you wrap, you press down. As you wrap, you press down. So this procedure is what you will take till you get to the end of the wire. So if you watch closely, you observe that I'm true. It has been neatly wrapped. Um, another method of covering your your millinery wire with bias is the one we call rolling method. That is, you roll the bias round the millinery wire. I will show you how to do it. Just watch closely how to do it. When you take your bias, you wrap it round as in you roll. You go round. It's another way. When you rub your U.S. gum or your B6000, you go round this method till you reach to the end. This is another way of covering with your bias. So once you are done with covering, you spread out your net. We call this um, net, plain net. It's not designed. You can also use a design net here. You can also use this um, this, lace, this net lace material that has flower pattern. So you can use it to design your sat life as netto. What I'm doing now is I'm covering the millinery wire. I'm covering it up with this net. I'm trying to locate the center, that's what I'm doing. So you continue to drag it down. You observe that once you hold the whole part of the net together, all the edges, once you hold them together, you will see that the tighter, the more the tighter you hold it, that's when you will see the millinery wire folding by itself. So what I'm just doing now is to fold down. Can you see it? Once you are, the more you drag it down, the more you hold it firm. You observe 
that the wire just bent by itself without struggle. I don't know if you get me. So that is it. But once I'm done adjusting, I was trying my thread. My thread is eight pieces. If you count the thread, it's eight pieces. I made it to be, to be that thick so it won't cut on the way. So I'll wrap round. What I'm doing? I'm tying that point where I dragged together. As I wrap round, I adjust. As I wrap round, I adjust. So I'm tying it round. After tying it down, I will knot like two or three knots. Then cut out my thread. Next thing to do is to seal down this cap base. Don't know if you understand me. Seal it down to this net. So I'm tacking it down. Don't forget your neat stitching. That's what I'm doing here. You can use a fishing line here, but I'm using my needle and thread. When you take it down, you do any stitch so they won't see the thread. So I will seal down. I will seal down right round. And please, why sewing? Um, ensure that you tack at the center. And if you get me, you sew and adjust. What I'm doing, I will sew and adjust. My target is to get that center so that the cap will sit on the center. Please do a neat stitch so people won't see, won't see that, that thread you used in attaching the cap base to the net. So if I see and observe that the cap base has fallen off, I will adjust. what I continue to do till I get to the end of where my thread started. So seal down, do a knee stitch and that's what I will do throughout. I will do man and get back to you. Yeah, I'm done and see a cap base sitting neatly on that net. The next thing to do is to cut out the under. I'm trying to do the neat finishing under. Note, please, why cutting out? Be careful. Just cut out the center. That center part. Watch close what I'm doing. That center part, that's what you cut out. Be careful not to cut your headband here. You just cut out that excess part. And as you do that, be very careful not to cut your headband. Also know where to stop. Why cutting your net? You understand? So watch what I'm doing. I'm just cutting off so it can go down. So it can sit down there. And I adjust. Why adjusting? Take it easy so you don't tear your net. You know, net is very fragile. So once you're through with trimming off the excesses, next thing you'll be doing is to cover up the underneath of your fascinator. And I won't be doing this here. I won't be doing it here. Please watch this video on my YouTube channel. I'm going to give you a guide on how to do your finished work. The link is, is in my description box. So, I'm through with this training. You can use anything to embellish. I use my flowers, my pearls to design this. So, you can use any applique, anything of your choice to design yours. Thank you for watching. See you next time.